Hi everyone, go to potential.com to download Polaris BIOS Editor. Choose software, find the program in the list, press the download button, press download again, complete it, open the zip file, and open Polaris BIOS Editor folder. Polaris BIOS Editor is designed for flashing BIOS. You download the program from the website btcmix.com and you will have the same picture as I do. Click on the file Polaris Bias Editor Axi. You will have such a picture popped up if you are using the version of Polaris Bias Editor 162. This version is used for all types of video cards. The next step is to place BIOS here. Press Open BIOS and then choose the BIOS. For instance, this one, XFX RX Original. Here you can find information about the card itself. Let's stop on the points we're most interested in. In the power play section, you can see maximum GPU frequency. We'll leave it as it is, without changes. What concerns maximum memory frequency? We have value of 2000 here. If you check it up in Afterburner, you'll see the same 2000 in maximum. Sometimes we need to flash the card for 2050 or 2100, for instance. That's why we can change the numbers here for 2200. Then click the button Apply Changes and you'll see at once your number in the power play. We are not interested in this section. In this one we don't make changes. All these configurations are set up properly. Let's move on to the timing. In most cases, if you have Hynix or LPDA memory, we take timings from 1500. Click here on 1500 in this line, then select all with Ctrl C. Then we go to 1625, insert Ctrl V. Then 1750, Ctrl V, apply changes, 1850, 2000, all the same. In most cases, you should do it this way. However, if you have a Samsung card, it can start easily at 1750. In other words, it can get its maximum. For example, if you use card 550 and it gives you 21, 22, 23 mega hashes when you change timing, it can give you 28, 29 and even 30 mega hashes. We've made all the necessary changes and now we save all that. Select a name and save and write it to the card. I won't show how to do it as this video is about Polaris Bias Editor. The next step is to download the card. To do it with MSI Afterburner, some users have issues with it. It can't open or it doesn't show up or some other issues. If we want to have all our quark clock written with these megahertz, we'll need to point it here. To know the core voltage on which your card works, do the following. You open GPU Wizard. 
you choose the card you're interested in and then you go to the tab sensors. You see here the core voltage. The card works on 0 0.95, that is 950 millivolts. Most of them work on 1000, 1010, 1150. We need to reset here. What we do in BIOS Polaris Editor is change the voltage. In our program, we see 1220 MHz for GPU. Such a number isn't used in RX at all. Power clock doesn't have much influence for Ethereum. In this case, we can write 1150 instead of 1220. And here, instead of these numbers, we can write 950. But before all this, you need to see on what core voltage your card works. And then, first minus 100, then 150, and watch if it works stable. If it doesn't, then you need to add more voltage. And instead of 950, you can write 970. I write 950 in almost all the cards. It works. If 950 doesn't work, then 1000 will suit perfectly. Let's do the same thing here. 1100. Here, 950. You can also write all 950. It depends on the card. Let's have 1090 here and the same 950. Write down 1080. And 900. We can also change these ones, but there is no point in this because we'll use the card from 1080 and higher. Some cards can even hold 1050, so we can write 1050 here and 900 here. And don't forget to press Apply Changes. In most cases, we don't change memory voltage. Leave it as it's given. This is called downvolt of the program. Where does it influence? If your card used 120, 125 watts, it will use 95, 100 watts. In other words, you downvolted it. Its core voltage. Your card starts to heat less as it uses less power. If you had your card heated at 66 degrees, after down voltage it can heat up to 59 degrees. It also depends on the card. In most cases I do down volting as it uses less power and cards heat less. It's better for the card to heat less, but you also need to be attentive with downvolting. We don't need to increase it, as we are not going to overclock GPU core clock. We decrease it, but if you lower it too much, your card starts to cut out. If it doesn't cut out, for instance, working at 28 megahashes, the card will decrease and then it will work stably at 14 megahashes. It will work, but give only 14 megahash. 
just an example. That's why when you are doing down vaulting, watch the farm. You might not see it the very first day. It happens, you can see it the next day. I'd like to add one more thing. If your timing doesn't work, you can write down here the timing. For instance, for 1500, not to take this one, but find on the internet. When users say it works properly and gives mega hash, so you can insert it here and save. One more point. Here, in VRAM, there can be other cards. Some users have Alpida or Hynix. When you add it, choose the memory you have. In order to know the manufacturer of your memory, we'll need only one program. GPU-Z. When we launch it in memory type, you can see GDDR5 Micron. This means that this card has memory Micron. So first have a look here and then go to Polaris BIOS Editor. To drag out bias, we'll need to do the following operations. Here you see bias version. To press the button and save the file, we'll save our bias. Always save original bias. You may need it later. You can save it giving it the name or the card and the original, for example. And then save. And here you can see your saved file. Then you can work on this file. That's all for today. If you have any questions or need more information about software or crypto in general, visit the website btcnix.com. There you can find the latest news, software tutorials, crypto analytics, and much more. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Welcome.